Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we'll give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. GMS, stop and listen, coming with a short lesson. Uh, just want to go over something right quick. Uh, because we're coming down. You know, we're coming down, getting close to what they call the nitty-gritty. And Yahweh Shai is getting ready to turn with his angels to destroy America. And one thing you have to remember, when you read in Revelation 12, chapter, it talks about uh, the devil coming down. You're having great wrath because you know that he has a short time. And that devil is not the spiritual demon Satan. It's Esau himself because he is the counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan on the planet. All right. He's the one the earth is giving into the hands of the wicked. He is that border of wickedness, okay? And when you read in Psalms 83, it tells you that he's one of the, the tabernacles who said, let Israel be no more remembrance to try to put us put us down and, and basically destroy us, man, okay? The same one that helped the Babylonians, man, saying race it, race it to the foundations of hell, okay? The same one in Numbers, the 20th chapter, when we tried to pass by on the king's highway, he said he would come out with his sword, Okay, that act back then is the reason why they have no trespassing signs today. Okay, and you got to remember what Jeremiah 30 and 7 says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, the elect. Okay, so it's a time that's going to be coming where Esau is going to show you his horns. He's going to basically one last ditch to destroy destroy you okay and and no matter what you think or what you heard the scriptures tell us that esau has a continual hatred for us man you can't forget that you know you might be you might work with some of them and talk to them every day and you might be like hey man this dude cool but basically it is a perpetual hatred man Okay, now this is uh, Ezekiel 35 and 2. The son of man set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. Mount Seir is representation of Esau. Okay, just like Jerusalem is Israel. Okay, now he's basically telling us to prophesy against it. He, the Lord is basically telling him he's going to stretch his hand out against them and make them make their cities desolate. Okay. Meaning he's going to bring it to ruin, which is what America, right? Any use the main corporate is America. Co corporate is America. Mm -hmm. Then you have these Edomite. Edomite have countries, France, Europe, Germany, UK, Russia. The Lord is basically going to deal with all you Edomites in, in, in soon time to come. But verse 5 says, because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel. By force, okay, look at the word force, by strength and power figurative, right? So, by force, man, think about in the time of uh, the slavery, how you used to just come in, bust in the crib, and, and beat Jake by the gun, hang him up, you know, drag him, you know, just totally, totally dog out the nation of Israel, man. And the Lord had a spirit on us because we were being rebuked. We were being chastened that Jake didn't even fight back. Because the scriptures say that that we are stronger than you. And you think about it. You have a plantation of 200 Negro men being controlled by three or four white men on a horse with a rifle. That might have 15 shots between all of them. And if they had the double barrel, they got two shots. So that's six shots if they run around with double barrels. Okay. But you got 200 men. Who's who's going to be the six to sacrifice their life to kill those three? The Lord had a spirit on us, man. He just took the spirit right out of us, man. Back then in them days, man. To where we were docile, man. But he's getting ready to put that spirit of those lions back on us come soon. Because I always had a perpetual hate, perpetual Perpetual is long enduring, okay, forever, everlasting, 
old, ancient, even from the ancient days, man. When you go all the way back to Genesis, when the blessing was given to uh, uh, the blessing was given to Isaac, having having being lord over his brothers, and having corn, wine, and milk, and and Esau came in to get his blessing, and Isaac knew that something had went wrong, but he had already get a blessing up. So he gave Esau, he says, this was what he gave him. He says, and by the sword thou shalt live. The sword is a killing instrument, man. Sword, right? Knife, tool of cutting from its destructive effect. That's why Esau now today are creating thermonuclear missiles, man. They still have this blessed other sword, okay? They have drones now. The capability, their, 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 uh, their, their sword has been... Enhanced man to the point where they don't have to go fight you hand in hand. They just push a button and get rid of you And by that sword shall thy live and shall serve thy brother And we are not In charge we are serving them and it shall come to pass When thou shall have the dominion thou shall break his yoke off thy neck and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessings wherewith his father has blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand and I will slay my brother Jacob. Slay means to kill, to murder, to destroy. Okay? To ruin. And that's what they did, man. When they came back in the Renaissance period, man, in them couple hundred years... When they put that transatlantic slave trade together and brought us over here, man, it was all trying to kill Jake. Look at this. Uh, this is from 1919, Negroes lynched by years. The crisis, okay? The crisis. I'm going to look up that word crisis right quick. Let's look up that word crisis, see what it says. Uh, crisis. Okay, the word crisis, a difficult or dangerous situation that needs serious attention. <clears throat> See, a turning point for better or worse, it was for Israel for worse. But the crisis that's going to take place when Yahweh Shah come back is going to be for the better. It's going to be a kingdom at the end of this. But we're going to have to go through worse points to get to that better point okay all right so now this was for the worst for the israelites negroes lynched by years from 1885 to 1918 now you gotta remember this is 2020 the ending of this is 18 so this is 100 years okay actually a hundred, about 33 years when it started. Okay. So this ain't been too long ago. 1885, 78. Then you had 71. Okay. Then in 1891 through 1895, there were over, it was, the average was around 140 a, a year lynchings, man. So you think about it's 360 days in a year. Half of that is like one, what, 80? So you figure every three days, every four, three, four days, they was basically lynching somebody. So that's really, that's really showing you that it was at least, it's 52 weeks in a year. So it was at least two and a half lynchings. We say, let's say three lynchings a week. From 1991 to like 95, it was somewhere around three lynchings a week. It's 52 weeks in a year times three is 156. So the, the most in 1892 was 155. So that was three lynchings a year. You know, maybe they took off Christmas, their Christmas on that day. Okay, but look, when you look, 102 in 1898, 107, and 1900, 1901. The 20th century, bro. You know? 
1917, that's when well, I think they was doing World War One. It, it was probably at its lowest at 44 and 55. It's probably because of the war was going on. You know what I mean? Then Jake never went into war either. But a total of almost 3,000 lynchings in a period of uh, 30 years. From 85, 15 plus 85 plus 15 is 1900 plus 8. That's 33, 33 years. Okay. 33 years, man. Who got lynched when they was 33? How was shy? All right. Hung up, up hung up, hung up across, man. So you figure in a period of 30 years, it was almost 3,000 lynchings, man. So that's just the average. It's the average. The average is a hundred a year. So these Edomites was lynching at least from that period, them, them thirty three years, at least two two Israelites men were being lynched, man. A perpetual hatred, man. Okay, a perpetual hatred. He said he was going to slay his brother Jacob. He's still doing it. That's a perpetual hatred, okay? It's perpetual, man. That's why the Lord basically, he said this. Uh, Revelations 18 and 5, for her sins have reached unto heaven. And the Most High have remembered her iniquities, man. He have remembered Esau's iniquities as well. That's why when you read it in Revelation 13, 9 and 10, it's going to be a payback. When, matter of fact, in the next verse, it says pay her double. Matter of fact, I just went over this in the last video through the Spirit. Uh, Revelation 18 and 6. It's, it's double about to be paid back unto her, man. And the Lord is going to use Israel to help destroy you Edomites, man, as well. Okay. Your iniquities is about to be uncovered. Okay. Ezekiel 25. Thus said the Lord 12. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, because the Edom have dwelt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Because, hey, you were saying when the yoke. The, the, uh, your, Isaac said when you're going to take that yoke off your neck then you say you're going to slay your brother Jacob and you've done that okay you were violent against us man Obadiah 1 10 for the violence against thy brother Jacob shame shall cover thee and thou shalt be cut off forever okay because the Lord is going to make Judah a, a, a fire and Joseph a flame, but he gonna put bring you the stubble, man. It's gonna be through thermonuclear destruction. Okay. Verse thirteen, Ezekiel twenty five and thirteen. Therefore, thus said, said the Lord Yahweh, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword. Thermonuclear destruction. Yahweh shot coming back with the angels, destroying your cities, making them desolate and ruining them. Verse 14, I will lay my vengeance, right? My recompense, my payback upon Edom. Edom, I don't want. Okay? This is, this is who, who, who you call so-called white people. This is your nationality, Edom. Right? We didn't make you who you are. The Lord made you eat them. It ain't no such thing as eat them being done away with. You still are here. And it, the, this Bible speaks of a vengeance that's going to be brought against you. Okay. Prepare a slaughter for his children for the iniquities of their father. When you read it, Isaiah the 14th chapter. And Sirach 41 and 7 says they're going to complain of an ungodly father. You could keep complaining, but the Lord is going to do what he's going to do because his thoughts are higher than your thoughts in Isaiah 55 and 8. His ways are higher than your ways, okay? I will lay my vengeance upon Edom, 
by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do and eat them according to my anger, according to the Lord's anger, man. The anger we have, man, we can't even, it can't even compare what the Lord's anger is. So brothers going to be fierce in that day, man. You're going to see red eyes for real, okay? Scripture said dashing the little ones against the stone in, in, in Psalms 137, 8 or 9. And it says, according to my anger and according to my fury, fury is rage, man. They shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, man. And the Lord going to put it, he going to put it on these men to remember things like this crisis, right, from 1885 to 1918. He going to have it on your, your, your remembrance to remember those three, almost 3,000 lynchings that went on in 33 years. Okay, the Lord is going to put it on these men's spirit. Okay. And you know, certain men of the Lord are probably one of those men who probably got hung in those days. So a family member got hung. So the Lord is going to put a fury on these men. And then the day Esau, amen, like I said, your sins have reached up to heaven. And the Lord is going to remember your iniquities. He's going to have, he's going to pay you back with your house shining angels, man. And his men, okay? Hey, man, a bob, a ball, man. A bob, a ball. You know, it's hard for me to even do this video here, man. A bob, a ball, a bob, a ball. Hey, with that, all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Rekha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, man. Peace and blessings to the whole flag. Keep your faith up, brothers, man. Payback is coming, man. Keep your faith. Hey, with that, man, I'm going to say Shalom.